Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering 1 tier, 2 tier and 3 tier architecture in DBMS. And also, I will explain difference between 2 tier architecture and 3 tier architecture. Guys, I have uploaded complete DBMS subject tutorials. I will provide link in description, you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Guys, architecture is nothing but structured design. For example, I want to construct house. So, I will go to builder. Whenever I go to builder, he will show me some designs of house. So based on my requirement, I will choose one design. Here my house construction depends on house architecture. Similarly, if you want to design any DBMS software, here your DBMS design depends upon the DBMS architecture. The DBMS design depends upon its architecture. But how to design this DBMS architecture? Here your database architecture design depends upon the how users communicate with database in order to get their request done. Guys, there are so many ways user will interact with database. For example, guys, some users will directly communicate with database software, but some users will not communicate with database software directly. Instead, they will use one software in order to communicate with database software. Like that, there are so many ways users will communicate with database. So DBMS architecture depends on how users communicate with database to get their request done. There are three most commonly used database management system architectures. They are one tier architecture, two tier architecture and three tier architecture. Before knowing this one tier, two tier and three tier architecture, it first you need to know what is client server architecture. Person who will send request is known as client and server will give response to him. For example, let us consider I open Amazon website in order to purchase mobile. After I entered into Amazon website, I will type mobiles below 25,000. Whenever I type mobiles below 25,000 and click enter, it will transfer my request to Amazon server. It is Amazon server. This Amazon server contains information about all products. Whenever I send request to Amazon server, this Amazon server will display all mobiles below 25,000. Here I am sending request. So I am client. And whereas server will provide response. Guys, each and every software company contains server. Inside server, there will be a database. In this database, complete data is stored. For example, if you consider Amazon, Complete Amazon product details are stored in this Amazon database. For example, if you consider Facebook, Facebook also contains servers. In that server, there will be a database. Inside database, complete Facebook information is stored. For example, if I upload any image, that image is stored in Facebook database. For example, if I share any post, that post is stored in Facebook database. This is simple example of client and server architecture. The basic client server architecture is used to deal with a large number of PCs, web servers, database servers that are connected with network. Network is nothing but internet. For example, if you consider Amazon, Amazon is simple example of client server architecture and there are multiple users who will use Amazon at a time. So this client server architecture deals with large number of systems and we will access Amazon by using internet. So this large number of PCs, web servers all are connected with internet. Guys, this two tier and three tier architectures are client server architectures. At first, I will explain what is one tier architecture. Guys, this is simple structure of one tier architecture. In one tier architecture, database software is present in user's computer itself. For example, in my college lab, I want to practice DBMS. So I will go to lab and I will open system. And inside that system, I will open one DBMS software like MySQL. Inside MySQL, I will create some tables. Here I am using DBMS software in my computer itself. So it is simple example of one tier architecture. In one tier architecture, user will use database management system software in his computer itself. In this architecture, the database is directly available to the user. It means the user can directly sit on the DBMS and use it. For example, if I create table, it is directly stored in database. So any changes done here will be directly done on database itself. Normally, this one tier architecture is used by programmers in order to develop local applications. For example, I am programmer. Now I want to create one small software. So for that purpose, I need database. So inside my system, I will create database. So this one tier architecture is used for local application development where programmers can directly communicate with database for quick response. Here programmers will directly communicate with database for quick response. Next I will explain two tier architecture. Guys, whereas in one tier architecture, user will directly interact with database management system software like MySQL. But whereas in two tier architecture, user will not interact with database software directly. Instead, he will use one software in order to interact with database software. For example, I went to railway station in order to purchase ticket. So whenever I go to railway station, that person in counter will open one software. 
Now inside the software, he will enter all my details. Whenever this person enters all my details and click on submit, these details are stored in railway database. Here user is not interacting with database software directly. Instead, he is using one application in order to interact with database. This is simple structure of two tier architecture. Here person is using railway application in order to interact with railway database. Here this user by using application, he will send request. So this user and application are considered as client and whereas railway database will provide response. So this database software is considered as server. All this user information is stored in railway database. Guys, in this tutorial architecture, not only single user, there can be multiple users. For example, at a time 10 members will purchase ticket. So multiple users will interact with database. The tutorial architecture is same as basic client server architecture. In tutorial architecture, applications on the client side can directly communicate with database on server side. Guys, applications are nothing but softwares. By using the softwares, user can directly communicate with database. The servers will accept our request and they will provide response and so on. Guys, DBMS is nothing but it is a software like MySQL. To communicate with DBMS, client side application will establish connection with server side. Here client side application will establish connection with server. Purchasing ticket in railway station is simple example of two-tier architecture. Next, I will explain what is three-tier architecture. Guys, whereas in two-tier architecture, by using software, user can directly interact with database. But whereas in three-tier architecture, user cannot interact with database directly because there is software present in client side and also there is software at server side. Whenever I send any request by using this application, my request is sent to server side software and the server side software will perform operations on my database. Guys, web-based applications are simple example of three-tier architecture. For example, I open Amazon application in order to purchase mobile. So at first what I will do is, I will search like mobiles below 20,000. Whenever I enter mobiles below 20,000 and click enter, at first my request is transferred to Amazon application which is present on server side. It will not transfer my request directly to Amazon database. Instead, at first my request is transferred to Amazon application which is present on server side. Now this server side application will collect complete details about mobiles which are below 20,000 and it will display to user. This is simple example of three tier architecture where user and user application, server application and database are involved in three tier architecture. So three tier architecture is used in web based applications like Amazon, Facebook and so on. Guys in three tier architecture, user will not interact with database directly. Instead, he will interact with server side application. So whatever the data that is present inside database will be secure. In three tier architecture, client cannot directly communicate with server. Guys database will be present in server. So directly you can also call server instead of database. The application on the client end interacts with application server which further communicates with database system. The server side application will communicate with database. End user has no idea about the existence of database beyond the application server. Guys, this user don't know anything about this database. He just know about this application server, that's it. And database also has no idea about any other user beyond the application. This database also don't know about user because there is server application between this user and database. That is why they don't know each other. Next, I will explain difference between two-tier architecture and three-tier architecture. Two-tier architecture is a client-server architecture. Client will use software and directly communicate with database. So we call it as client-server architecture. Guys, many users will interact with two-tier architecture and as well as three-tier architecture. And whereas three-tier architecture is web-based application, for example, Amazon. This two-tier architecture is easy to build and maintain. And whereas three-tier architecture is complex to build and maintain, it runs slower and it runs faster because it is web-based application. So it will be very fast when compared to two-tier architecture. As user will directly interact with database, this two-tier architecture is not secure. And whereas in three-tier architecture, user will not interact with database directly. So data is secured in three-tier architecture. In two-tier architecture, if users increases, then performance decreases. And whereas three-tier architecture runs on internet, so even though users increases, there will not be any problem with performance. Example of two-tier architecture is railway reservation system. Example of three-tier architecture is Amazon.in, Facebook, so on. 